This is our inflatable mono tub. This is a really cool product because it's super durable and when it's deflated, it can fit almost anywhere. And this is what we're gonna be using to grow our mushrooms in. Now we're gonna grab our grain bag, our liquid culture syringe, our needle, and our isopropyl alcohol swab. Now we'll grab our syringe. We're gonna half open the cap to get it ready to put the needle on. We'll open up the needle, take the cap straight off and put it on. We wanna give our syringe a good shake so that we can evenly distribute our liquid culture. Open up our isopropyl alcohol swab. We wanna give our injection port a good wipe so we sanitize it. And then we wanna open up our cap and pop our syringe all the way in. Now we wanna empty this liquid culture syringe. Take it out, pop the cap on so we don't hurt ourselves and give the grain a gentle mix. We wanna tip it over, give it another gentle mix, tip it back over, and we wanna make sure all of our millet sinks down to the bottom. And then we wait for it to colonize. We wanna grab our mono tub. We're gonna inflate it from this port over here. We want to inflate it all the way up. We want to close up the port and push it back in. And we're going to grab these cups and put it into our mono tub. What this is going to do is restrict airflow into our mono tub while our mycelium grows. It's going to promote CO2, which is going to help our mycelium grow. And it's going to simulate the conditions we find in nature. Now we're going to spray our mono tub with our isopropyl alcohol to sanitize it. We want to sanitize everything so we can minimize any contamination throughout our grow. We want to give our hands a spray, wipe down our mono tub. And give our plastic sheet a wipe. What this sheet is going to do is prevent any mushrooms growing on the side or on the bottom by sticking to our substrate, which will make sure we only grow mushrooms on the top. Grab our colonized grain, give it a spray, wipe it down. Then we wanna break up our grain to get it ready to put in our mono tub. Once that's done, we're gonna grab our substrate bag. We're gonna give this a spray as well. And a wipe down. Give our scissors a spray and a wipe down. And we're gonna cut our substrate bag and our grain bag. The next step is to do a bit of a lasagna. So what we're going to do is layer substrate and then grain. So we'll go a layer of substrate, layer of grain, layer of substrate and a layer of grain. And we're going to do this until we're finished. We wanna make sure it's all evenly distributed so that we get an even growth throughout our substrate. And on the last layer, we want to make sure that we have a thick layer of substrate. We want to give it a pat down, make sure it's nice and firm. Again, we're emulating conditions we see in nature, which is going to help our mycelium grow. 
give our plastic lid a spray and a wipe. Pop it on the top and wait for our substrate to colonize. Now it will build condensation on the top like this. And this is what it's going to look like when it's all evenly colonized. So we're going to see some mycelium popping out the top. We want to take these cups out. We are going to replace them with filters so that we can get fresh air flowing through our mono tub. And this is going to promote mushroom growth, which is what we want. We want to give it a fine mist, which is going to build up these fine little droplets on our substrate. Once these droplets evaporate, we do want to reapply it until our mushrooms start to grow. If this is a little bit too much maintenance for you, you can buy a casing layer and put that on top. It'll keep it moist and we won't have to spray it. We want to pop the lid back on top and wait for our mushrooms to grow. I hope you guys enjoy growing your own mushrooms at home using the inflatable monotub. Thank you.